little babies. Uh, speaking of some more Olympics, uh, Shakari Richardson suspended for weed. She's not allowed to go to the Olympics. The U.S. team did not put her on the team. She's missing the Olympics and suspended one month from uh, international competition or whatever to whatever runners compete in other than the Olympics. Um, did, uh, th there's a petition with like close to a million signatures to let her run. I have a solution. Just make her run high. Mm, I like that. The weed THC is on the list of banned substances by uh, the International Competition Committee. Olympic the Committee, called? the IOC. IOC. Um, uh, everything else on there is basically performance enhancing. If you want to consider it performance enhancing, let's prove it. Let's, let's just give her a giant blunt right before the race starts and just see if she can run high. I bet you she would be still fast as fuck. Yeah, I bet she'd crush it. <laughs> <laughs> She's the fastest woman in America right now. She's the fastest human be woman around. I mean, why wouldn't you want to see her run? The fastest female in the world. Thank you. Just that's likes the just likes to get a little high, and she did it in a state that's legal. What a stupid fucking fiasco! No, people are still making it's it. The old balls, just like baseball has old balls, the Olympics has old balls. It's yeah. not like change. Goddamn old balls, racist mm -hmm. pricks. I also read something, uh, or I was listening to something today that uh, an Olympic committee banned a certain type of um, swimming cap. Oh, for the African American swimmers. For, yeah. Ooh, that is getting your feet dirty because that is <laughs> not good. Blatant racism. They yep. said it's because it doesn't fit the uh, uh, what they consider their texture of their hair. A normal uh, Olympian or a normal athletic figure, and it's like you you Whoa. look different, so you can't use the shit. Like, are you? Are you actually right? Are you that fucking dumb and tone deaf, or are you just actually racist? I think both. <laughs> probably. Probably. They're old. You know the older generation. They're very racist back in my day, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Like, yeah, for sure. When I saw that headline, I had to do a double take. I'm like, no, that can't be fucking real. Are you insane? Yeah. Wait, for, and why? Why? Like, there's no, there's nothing else. <laughs> like, I thought like, they're. I, I looked at any, any athlete like that. No. Any creed or color, I always look at if you have crazy, even in like basketball or football, especially like Stefan Gilmore, like if you have dreads and crazy hair, I always think you're insane because you're putting yourself at a competitive disadvantage. Like in swimming, I have to imagine if you have, you know, these guys were these women and men were like almost nothing so that there's not any uh, friction or whatever holding them back. So if you have, you know, a lot of hair or crazy hair, I would imagine that put you at a disadvantage anyway. So now they, they're not use some cap because it doesn't fit the mold of what they think Olympian should look like, which is basically tall, white, and Aryan race. Wow. It was a what? very racist comment that they made, too. It was, it was insanely racist. Unbelievable. Just the shit show has begun. It's going to be it's going to be fascinating watching how badly they screw this up. Oh, it's going to be and it's this might... be so bad that you're going to want to watch. Yeah. And this might... No, I'm not going to say that. I'll say, uh, tune in the after show. I'll tell you, I'll tell you all fair. <laughs> I'm going to stay away from that one. Uh, I'm only a beer and a half in. Good for me. Good for uh, here, here's a couple of quick hitters that just made me laugh. Uh, Patrick Beverly, we weren't, we weren't, we weren't doing shows when this happened. Oh, we when were. You, you took your vacation early. Okay. Did you guys talk about it? You yeah, did. When he shoved, I <laughs> shoved CP3 in the back. Come on. Because CP3 <laughs> just looked at him a bad way. He buried a shot and gave him an eye, and Patrick Beverly went nuts and just shoved him from behind. I thought such a bitch move, too. I've watched it a thousand times. I couldn't stop laughing. And Chris Paul is on the ground laughing, just yeah, uncontrollably because <laughs> he knows that he just got him ejected. Yeah, and just for looking at him, like, that's all he did. Pushing me for. <laughs> uh, I thought that was awesome. This one also made me laugh out loud when I saw the headline: Reggie Bush wants his Heisman back. <laughs> I just want him back. I want my fucking Eisman back. I mean, that situation is ludicrous. The NCAA voided the year because Reggie Bush got paid like everybody else. Is that the stupidest? No, Bill talks about like how the, uh, the no hitters, the dumbest like stat in baseball. In college like sports, how they take away national Dumb. champion Heisman's troll. It's just the absolute. So it never happened. Yeah, we were so, erasing 2004 from our history books because Reggie Bush uh, accepted money. No, it's it so fucking, it was the best football player. Who cares? He got fucking money. 
Like that's one of the dumbest fucking rules I've ever heard in my life. It's so stupid. Nobody recognizes it. It does nothing to uh, dissuade people from doing it again. Like if, if you want to dissuade people from doing it again, find them, <laughs> find out how much you made and make them pay it to back to the NCAA or charity, whatever the greedy fucks wear it. Well, how pay. much do you think USC got from it? From the national championships, from the oh, Heisman Trophy millions. winning. Girl. So who fucking cares? Find that. They don't give a shit. They voided our championship. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, yeah. the Heisman committee has said they'll give Reggie Bush this, his trophy, his little trophy back if the NCAA unvoids the year. So good luck with that, Reggie. Yeah, never going to happen. Hilarious. Uh, Trevor Bauer placed an extended administrative leave. Toot, toot. You said that in the uh, Friday show. Yeah, Bill said that there's no way MLB or the Dodgers would do anything, suspend him for his domestic violence assault. Yeah, I knew that they would have to do something do something drastic. So that's just two weeks now that he's going to be missing. Uh, I'm going to be terribly surprised if he pitches again this year. Oh, Bill was thinking after the All-Star break that let everything die down. because Billy Trash can, that, like, can't wrap his head around the fact that uh, it... Well, because he used to do this to his Tinder. <laughs> Like, uh, it, it's a little bit sketchy, and uh, athletes have been, you know, uh, there have been occasions of, of money grabs and thing like, things like that. I haven't had a chance to talk about this, so I'll just give you my two cents. Um, the text messages are all out there. It seemed like they had a consensual mute, uh, relationship. They wanted to beat the shit at each other having sex. <laughs> that seems like that has been defined. I think it's clear to say Trevor Bauer went overboard and beat the shit out of her unconsciously and sent her to the fucking hospital. Like, dude, what? she wanted it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, she fucking asked for it. Not really. Not really. It was the same argument I had with people on social media about the Bill Cosby thing who <laughs> incriminated himself in a fucking civil case. And he got out in a technicality and it's like, well, the girls knew what they were getting into. Here's my example of that. If I go over to Bill's and I say, hey, let's smoke some weed. I want to get a little high. And he slips me fucking black tar heroin and I go into convulsions and get, almost die at the hospital. That's not what I asked for, Bill. That's not what I asked here. That's not what I was looking to example. come here and do. Like you just took it overboard and there should be repercussions. And the repercussions for Trevor Bauer, he, it might not cost him criminally. It might it probably will cost him civilly. He'll probably just have to pay her off. And um. And, and then, you know, baseball, forget about it. That's not happening anytime soon. And it's not happening anytime soon. 2022. Just look, look, look at Deshaun Watson. Now that shit's gone away yet. Yeah, no shit. So it's like one of those things. Trevor Bauer, you are going to be dealing with this for the rest of the year and probably into next year. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. $200 million man. And the, the Dodgers can't afford to put him back. He'll get, they will get crucified mm. if they let him pitch. Um. Last but I don't know if you care about this. Hard Knocks announced, you know, it's always a thing. Cowboys going to be on Hard Knocks. You're a Hard Knocks guy, right? I like Hard Knocks. I haven't been like religiously watching it, but I've watched like past seasons. They're pretty good. Cowboys don't interest me. No, but you're never going to see the Patriots. You're never going to see those great teams on there. It's always shitbag teams like Cleveland, Vegas, uh, Cowboys again, St. Louis Rams. I remember. Yeah, but at least like at least there'll be some characters. I mean, maybe you get maybe Jerry Jones is interesting. He's meddling and, and shit, but like Dak Prescott seems like a wet blanket. Um, Zeke seems like he's uh, could come on our show. Yeah, yeah, it's like so. But maybe, I like how they have the underdog, like the the guy that there's on the fringe of making the team. You don't know if he's gonna make it or not. I like that kind of shit. Yeah, but I, I don't know. Jags would have been great. Yeah, fucking Tebow, and Urban Myers, Urban Myers, Trevor Lawrence. Like I would have been interested in watching some of that. Cowboys, yeah. there's just nothing on that team that interests me. Yeah. Um, okay, dull way to end the show. Fuck, let's fuck Trevor Bauer, by the way, also. <laughs> he ain't pitching again. 2-2, two, two, Bill, you fucking cunt. What a, well, I mean, absolute character, but also just nut job. Yeah. Clearly an absolute nut job. Better way to end the show. This has been the Simple Mind Sports Show, Fat Tuesday edition, catching up after vacation. Uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.